The main goal of this video is to figure out the derivatives of logarithmic functions. Functions like y equals ln x or y equals log base ax for any positive base a. I want to find the derivative of log base a of x. In other words, I want to find the derivative of y where y is log base a of x. By the definition of logarithms, log base a of x equals y means that a to the y power is equal to x. And that's useful because now I can take the derivative of both sides and use implicit differentiation. Recall that the derivative of a to the power is ln a times a to the power but since y we're thinking of as a function of x, I have to multiply that by dy dx by the chain rule. The right hand side here is just 1. Solving for dy dx, I get 1 over ln a times a to the y. But since a to the y is equal to x, I can rewrite that as dy dx equals 1 over ln a times x. So the derivative of log base a of x for any base a is 1 over ln of a times x. And in particular, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over ln of e times x. But since ln of e is just 1, that's saying that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. This is a very handy fact. And this more general derivative is also worth memorizing. While we're talking about the derivative of the natural log of x, let's look at the derivative of the natural log of the absolute value of x. The function y equals ln of absolute value of x is, of course, closely related to the function y equals ln of x, the difference being that the domain for ln x is just x values greater than 0, whereas the domain of ln of absolute value of x is all x's not equal to 0. The graphs are also related. When you look at the graph of y equals ln absolute value of x, it looks like you're seeing double. Since the absolute value of x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and negative x when x is less than 0, ln of the absolute value of x is going to be equal to ln x when x is greater than or equal to 0 and ln of negative x when x is less than 0. If I consider the derivative of ln of absolute value of x, I can think of taking the derivative of each piece separately. And we just saw that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, so the derivative of ln of minus x is going to be 1 over minus x times the derivative of minus x, which is minus 1, by the chain rule. Notice that this second expression simplifies to 1 over x. So the derivative of ln of absolute value of x is equal to 1 over x, whether x is positive or negative. This formula will come in handy later when we start doing integrals. Let's go back to the first formula we derived, the derivative of the log base a of x is 1 over ln a times x, and use this formula to calculate a more complicated derivative. To find f prime of x, I'll start by using the product rule. So I have x times the derivative of the square root, I'll write that as a one-half power, plus the derivative of x times my second function. Now the derivative of log raised to the one-half power is one-half times my inner function raised to the minus one-half power times the derivative of my inner function. I need to add to this the second term. The derivative of x is just one times my log expression. I'll copy some stuff down from the previous line and take the derivative of log base 10. From the formula above, that's one over ln of 10 times my inside function of x squared plus 1 
times the derivative of x squared plus 1. I'm using the chain rule here. And let me copy down the rest of the expression from above. Now the derivative of x squared plus 1 is just 2x. So if I write that down and simplify a bit, I get this expression. The x squared here in the numerator comes from this x and this x. The square root of log on the denominator comes from log to the negative one-half power here. The ln 10 times x squared plus 1 comes from here. And this last term is just the same as this last term here. And when I evaluate at x equals 3, I get 3 squared over the square root of log base 10 of 10, that's handy, times ln of 10 times 10 plus the square root of log base 10 of 10. Those log base 10 of 10s conveniently become 1. And so I'm left with 9 over ln 10 times 10 plus 1. This amounts to about 1.39 for anyone who's interested. In this video, we found that the derivative of ln x is equal to 1 over x, kind of a nice derivative. And more generally, the derivative of log base a of x is 1 over ln a times x.